Good morning, everyone. Um, I've decided to do this review outside because it's such a beautiful morning and uh, the weather is nice and the sun is out. So, of course, my allergies are <laughs> bother me, but that's okay. Um, this is a review of Northern Lights Candles uh, Wax Melts. Um, Northern Lights Candles is a New York-based candle company that sells their products uh, online as well as through retailers across the country such as Bed Bath & Beyond, Wayfair.com, gift shops, etc. Um, they carry scented wax melts in three sizes. The four ounce pillow packs, which is what I have here. Um, eight ounce mason melts, which are in a mason jar, a glass mason jar, and five pound and a five pound pack. Um, these four ounce pillow packs are cardboard packs with tiny wax cubes inside. Uh, I discovered that about five of these little wax cubes seems to be equivalent to one normal size wax cube. So you can see I have them here. They're like little, they're small. And here's a comparison of a regular wax cube. So you can kind of see the size difference. So I discovered that, you know, five of those, of these little ones pretty much equals one cube. Um, the pillow packs are $5.99 for four ounces, which is equivalent to $3.74 for a standard 2.5 ounce wax melt package, which is what you would get at, say, Walmart. So they are a bit pricey. Um, the eight ounce mason melts are $15.99 for eight ounces, which is equivalent to $5 for a standard 2.5 ounce wax melt. You would think that the, you know, the, the, the larger quantity would be cheaper, but I guess because it's in a, a glass mason jar, I guess maybe you, you pay for that. Um, the five pound pack is $75 and 99 cents, um, which is equivalent to 80 ounces, eight zero ounces, which is the same as 32 standard 2.5 ounce size wax melts. Um, that price, $75.99 for five pounds, is equivalent to $2.38 for a standard 2.5 ounce wax melt. So that's the cheapest way to go, the most economical, but you'd really, really have to really love a scent to get, you know, 32, the equivalent of 32 um, standard wax melts and I don't know what type of a package they come in and if the packages can be sealed. So um, these pillow packs are made to be used in a fairly short amount of time. The reason is that they're cardboard first of all and the scent will dissipate in time through cardboard. They're not really very well sealed. They're kind of in the packaging looks like kind of like a Hot Pockets. I don't know if you can see in there. Here's the wax melts. They kind of look like Hot Pockets. They kind of open and close the same way. It's, it's kind of an interesting concept. I like the concept. Um, I'm not sure if it makes much sense to have them in this format because they're kind of hard to store. And I don't know. I, I mean, I still prefer the wax, the, the, the uh, plastic clamshells. So, you know, four ounces, again, you'd have to use that up within, oh, I guess, within maybe maybe two or three months, um, which if you like a scent, I mean, that's it's easy to use it up pretty quickly. Um, so if you really like a scent, it would be best to reorder the eight ounce mason melts because they come in a glass jar with a lid so they'll be sealed. So, on to the scent reviews. These reviews are in alphabetical order by scent. So, first we have the cranberry. I'm not going to open each one because it's just kind of too hard to do with the phone in my hand. So, um, I guess I really didn't even need to do a video because it's not like you're seeing much. The cranberry, this is just a 
a generic cranberry scent with a slightly bitter note. It's not very sweet. So I'm not really crazy about the scent and the throw was poor. Maybe a one or possibly a 1.5 out of five. So that one didn't work for me. Crisp apple. It's a nice apple scent with a smidgen of caramel. It's not very sweet, but that's okay. Uh, it's, it's a nice apple scent. The throw was very good, like a 3.5 out of five. Farm stand peach. Uh, this is a nice, fairly standard peach scent. Not much else I can say about it. The throw was good, three out of five. Fraser fir. I think Fraser is misspelled. Um, this is a fantastic, smoky, earthy, woodsy, warm spruce scent with a hint of eucalyptus. It's not a harsh pine scent. It kind of smells like a Christmas tree next to a cozy fire. So I really, really like this one. Uh, the throw was very good, three or 3.5 out of five. Fresh linen. This is a nice, sweet fabric softener scent. It's not a harsh laundry detergent scent. And the throw was very good, like around a 3.5 out of five. Next we have ginger tea and honey. This smells like lemon flavored iced tea mix. Um, it's rich and sweet, it smells fantastic. I don't smell ginger or honey though, but it's still a fantastic scent and the throw was good, three out of five. Next we have lavender vanilla. This is a standard lavender scent with a slight sweetness. It's not too medicinal, which is good. However, the throw was not good, maybe a two out of five and the scent faded within a half hour. Um, Mysteria is a, it's a very nice, old fashioned, soapy, perfumey scent. It's not overly sweet. It's not a musk or a floral scent. I think it might be considered maybe like an oriental spice type scent. Kind of has that old lady perfume note that some people don't like, but I love it. I really like this scent. And the throw was very good three or 3.5 out of five. Next we have oatmeal cookie. This really smells like a sweet, rich oatmeal cookie and a very nice scent. Throw was very good, 3.5 out of five. And last we have tender. This one smells almost exactly like Mysteria, but I think there's a baby powder note in this one. There's like some very slightly different notes that I can't figure out. Um, and I don't think that they list any of the scent notes on the website. Uh, if they do, oh, and the throw was excellent, 3.5 or a four out of five. So this one really had the best throw out of all of them. So, um, you know, these were nice scents. Some of them were kind of standard, kind of generic. The throw was okay on these. In general, I'd say probably good to very good. Um, I personally like wax that has a very, very strong throw and kind of hits you in the face. Um, so these really don't do that, but that's okay. I mean, not everybody likes that. Um, I don't think they, that the website has the scent notes on it. Um, I'll have to check though. And if they do, then I will list the scent notes in the text version of this review, which can be which can be found at Scented Wax Reviews with an S at the end, ScentedWaxReviews.com. Um, and also, uh, if you want to discuss this review, you can join our Facebook group, which is called Scented Wax uh, Scented Wax Melts Retail, because we only discuss retail and store bought wax, which this is. Um, and uh, if you are a, a, a wax company, a wax manufacturer, a, a wax vendor, and you would like me to do a review um, on your wax, just re uh, reply below this, uh, this video, this YouTube video. Uh, just send a reply to the video and uh, your, your contact information, how I can reach you. Uh, when I do reviews, if the reviews are mostly good, which this one is, I'll go ahead and publish the review. If it's mostly bad, I will send you the review. Well, either way, I would send you the review before I publish anything. But it's mo if it's mostly bad, I'm not going to post the review at all. 
So that's kind of with the review service, you don't really have to worry about me posting anything if it's if I don't if I don't like your wax. Um, anyway, I hope you hope you've enjoyed this review. And again, um, you can read the, the, the text review at scentedwaxreviews.com, join our Facebook group, and um, have a great day.